Hey, hello. I wanted to get online here this afternoon and share some reading with you today from the scriptures. Came across this chrono chronological Bible reading plan for Holy Week that um, I saw online and really like it, even though I got, just got it sent out today. Today's Tuesday on April the 4th. But it was still, it was so good, uh, I just really felt a need to get this out to you all. Um, those of you who are at Goshen Friends, I emailed it to you. And anyway, I wanted to read from, they have three readings from today from Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And I wanted to read the Matthew portion to you, Matthew 21, verses 23 through 32. And I want to read this and just discuss it with you a little bit so we can just have our minds thinking a lot as we take steps closer uh, and days closer towards Easter Sunday. And uh, the passage, like I said, is Matthew 21, 23 through 32, and it says this, And when he entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came up to him as he was teaching, uh, came up to him as he was teaching, and said, By what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? And Jesus answered them, I also will ask you one question, and if you tell me the answer, then I also will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, where, where did it come from? From heaven or from man? And they discussed it among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? If we say from man, we are afraid of the crowd, for they all hold that John was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. And then the next section of Scripture here, which is verses 28 through 32, says, What do you think? A man had two sons, and he went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. And he answered, I will not. But afterward, he changed his mind and went. Um, and he went to the other son and said to the same. And he answered, I'll go, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did the will of the father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, truly, I say to you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even when you saw it, you did not go, you did not afterward change your minds and believe in him. Hmm. So interesting. We have the first section here where the chief priests and elders, so these are the Jewish higher ups, and they are uh, basically interrogating Jesus, wanting to know by what authority is he teaching, because he is te clearly teaching with way more authority than them. Um, and, and they're really, they're, they're trying to find out where's this guy coming from and uh, maybe even wanting to know what rabbi did he, was he taught under. And so he, he said, okay, you answer my question and I'll answer your question. And they felt like uh, this, we can't answer, you know, we answer this way, we're caught, we answer the other way and the, the, mob, the people are going to mob us because they, they felt so highly of John the Baptist. And so they're like, oh, we don't know. And he's like, then I'm not going to tell you. Uh, so then, you know, he asked the question about uh, the, this father with his two sons. The first son said, no, I'm not going to go work in the vineyard. But then he obeys and goes ahead and goes. Uh, the second son said, yeah, I'll go. But then he doesn't go. And which one did he say did the will of the father? Well, they answer, well, the first one did. Well, yeah, because... He did the will of the Father. And, and here we have this, he, he, he blasts them between the eyes by saying, look, tax collectors and prostitutes go into the kingdom of God before you. Meaning, these are people who have realized who they are. Um, they've realized who, who I am, meaning Jesus, who Christ is, and they have repented of their sins, they've turned from their ways because in obedience and followed him. And he said, look, there's tax collectors and prostitutes that show fruit from their belief 
way more than you do. And I guess I just think to myself, wow, we need to think about this and we really need to evaluate our belief system. And, and, and do, we, do we sometimes hold people that might have some sort of uh, a, a, what seems to be authority, but maybe it's really not, uh, maybe even authority in the church. And the, the reality is we need to make sure we understand what really makes a person right with God. And it's the ones who follow him. And if you follow him, that means you're doing what he says. Well, looking forward to doing some more of these readings this week with you all. And just God bless you all. Um, stay close to Jesus and get nearer and nearer to him as we get nearer and nearer to Resurrection Sunday. God bless you all.